Hello, how are we? Today I wanted to go through my current makeup routine as of January of 2022. It is a new year and I wanted to update you guys on what I'm currently doing, uh, even though I haven't been filming a lot or at all. <laughs> I actually have been testing out new things and trying new methods and all that stuff. So I wanted to update you with one of my first videos on what my current routine is. And if you don't know, over Christmas of 2021, I had COVID. So that's why I may sound a little bit stuffy. Uh, and then also my skin is just not in the best place, like not showering for a couple of days and just, you know, that virus coming out of my body. I was like sweating at night, really gross, but uh, my skin's not in a great place. We're getting it back to where it needs to be but I thought today would be the best day to show you guys how I cover it all up. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and jump into my current 2022 January routine. So basically what I did before I turn on the camera, oh, my dog is in the background, nothing has changed. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, before what I, what I did before I jumped on camera was just moisturize, I just got out of the shower. So I have been using the Fenty Skin, this is kind of gross, uh, I have been using the Fenty Skin Moisturizer. It's got SPF in it, which is why I like it. And it's pretty cheap. It's only $35. I think maybe the, extent, the expansion, like the, the, it comes with a little insert. So I think this is maybe only $30. So it's actually pretty affordable and it's a pretty good moisturizer. Uh, it's just not quite thick enough for me during the winter. So I do add a little pump of the Drunk Elephant Lala retro whipped cream so I do this for sunscreen and then I just do a little bit of this so I mix them together and put them on my face that is all I did thus far so at that point I would and also I did that a few minutes ago so hopefully the skin tint sinks into my skin like it usually does because it usually like accepts it with the moisturizer but uh, I only did it about five ten minutes ago so I think it should be fine so I usually do concealer first. So I have been using the Fenty, uh, the Fenty Bright Fix. And this is the peach shade because I have darkness under my eyes, like discoloration, purpleness. So I use this to kind of color correct. And then it also just kind of smooths things out. And like I said before, I use this uh, on a daily, basically, when I'm not using skin tint, I'll just do a primer and then this and then touch up with powder throughout the day. So anyway, um, so we'll go ahead and apply this. It comes with a little squirty tube. I love this stuff. I just ordered a couple of new concealers um, from Morphe, so I wanna try those out on camera as well, but I, I this is like a go-to fade. This is so good, it's so light. And I just do a little dab, just a little dab, like literally barely any underneath my eyes and then I blend it out. Uh, this is so good just because it's so light, it's undetectable on the skin, it like conceals a little bit, it brightens a little bit. You really don't need to set this with anything. So I have been loving this, don't mind my dirty brush. This is a Morphe G36, I don't think they make this anymore but um, I also ordered a new dense like concealer brush. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap this out and we tap it back and forth and really get up to the lash line. Look up, get it in that inner corner, tap it out. So, the side to the side, like night and day. Like it just looks so much better. So do the other side. And I kind of bring it out to here a little bit because I have a little bit of discoloration there, but I try not to bring it into the nose too much because it can collect there and it can, like, you can see a little bit of like the concealer collecting in the inner nose. So I try to keep it out here and then in the center as much as possible. So this is like what I do on a daily. Like I just feel like it's night and day how, how much this corrects the skin and like makes the dark circles go away. So. I mean, if that's you, you just want something really light, then just do this, do your moisturizer, maybe do a primer, and uh, one of the primers that I recommended in my last favorites of 2021 video, pop that on, you're out the door. So then I would go directly into the Fenty Skin Tint, Ease Drops. And so I have been using this. So 
The thing with this is, okay, let me give you the full rundown. So I haven't been doing this full routine every day. This is the routine that I like, that if you want like better coverage and a longer process, this is like, if you want like, if you're in it and you want the full meal deal, I will show you how to do it. So I've been using the Ease Drops and I don't know if you guys have been around um, since the beginning, but I did review these initially and I didn't like it. This was the first skin tint that I ever used. And I was a little worried about being uncomfortable, like, cause it is a foundation. So I was worried about wearing a foundation throughout the day and feeling comfortable. And actually I do because it's very light as far as, you know, it doesn't look cake face. So it looks really natural on the skin. So I do like this and I have been using this. My shade is 14. So we'll just go ahead and apply this. What I do is I just do a couple of drops on my fingers like literally, like that's it, just a couple. And then I rub it together, and then I just apply it with my fingers. And I try to avoid that concealer area because we already put that down and it kind of sets itself. And then I bring it on the eyelids. Make sure it's up in the hairline. Try to avoid my eyebrows. And you can get it in your beard, it's fine because it does kind of, it does blend. Some other products will show up in your beard and be like kind of cakey in there. I might do a couple, like one more drop on the neck just to blend a little better. And on the sides like on the ears. You wanna blend it all over. Here's it fully applied. As you can see, it kind of covered up my blemishes a little bit. Like it's not going, it's not a full coverage foundation, so it's not gonna cover everything, cover up everything, but it definitely like evens out the skin. It covers blemishes slightly. It's very light, like you can't tell that I have it on. I just think it looks really good and really light. And that's why I like this. So the only thing that I don't like about this is if you like are wearing a white shirt, like it does transfer. So like if you are wearing a white shirt or put your hat on your pillowcase, like it does transfer and it does come off. Uh, if you're taking off your shirt, it'll get on your shirt. So that's why I don't like wearing this every day. But if you're okay with like just being really careful about that kind of stuff and you want to like really even out the skin, then this is, this is your dude. Uh, I may try out some more skin tints just because I like this so much. I might, and I'm kind of getting back into filming, so I might try some more skin tints. <clears throat> like Beauty Blender came out with a skin tint that I really want to try. Laura Mercier has a matte one, which I really want to try because as we all know, I'm very, very oily. <laughs> so I'd like to try that one out. And that one has SPF in it, so I could just throw on like a moisturizer and then the Laura Mercier skin tint and have an uh, SPF in there because we all know how much I like my SPF to protect my skin. So there's a couple of others that I want to try out there that I will try on camera and test out for you guys now that I'm kind of back into the swing of things. But um, yeah, this is solid. I've really liked Fenty products from start to finish, basically. Like everything that I've tried, basically, that I, everything that I've tried has basically worked out for me on Fenty. I really like the brand as a whole. I think the only thing that I've tried before that I didn't really like was the brow wax it was just didn't really do much for me and for twenty dollars i was like eh, i'm good so anyway so now we are going to set this because you, we know that i'm oily and we don't want it to move around and i want to take down some of the shine so i'm going to set it uh with the jeffree star powder and the only reason that i'm using this i not to say that it, the only reason i'm using this i like jeffree star but I just feel like the packaging is like super loud with the pink thing and like, I don't know, he's just, something's changed with him. So I don't know, I have this whole container and it's a really good powder. Like it really blurs the pores and it sets everything in place and it's really, really good. Um, and I have a whole thing of it, so might as well use it up, right? But if I was going to use the skin tints on a daily basis and I still might do this, then I might try to find another comparable powder that I like better than this. So I might go down that road at some point in the future to you know go through loose powders and see which ones are the best for you guys. But um, 
I don't know, we'll see about that. But today we're gonna use the Jeffree Star powder. Let's see what it's called. Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, I don't even think it has a name on here. But this is the shade Beige. I think this is for light to medium skin tones. So, and I do, so the skin tint that I use, the 14, is, I like the olive tones in it, but it might be just a touch dark. Like, I don't know if you can tell on camera, it's a little bit darker um, than my normal skin. So I do kind of like the beige color because it does take it down just like maybe a hair in color um, to be a little bit lighter. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. So a little bit has come out and all I do is dab my brush in there and then knock it off. Like you wanna get all most of the excess off and then I'll just lightly dust around the face. And I'm using a stamping motion. Maybe just pick up just a little bit more. Okay, so this is us after powder. I should have done side by side. <laughs> but if you can see, I think I have some in my brows. <clears throat> Cute. I try to avoid the brows, but anyway, as you can see, it just lightened it up just a touch to match my chest a little bit more. And so it just set everything into place. It added just a tiny bit more coverage, which I like. So this is the finished product. Sorry, I was picking up my face out of piece of dry skin. <laughs> I'm telling you, my skin is not in a good place. But anyway, it looks really good on the skin and I really dig it. Like so, here's my blemish. So yeah, this is basically my routine. I don't do brows anymore. Uh, I just feel like it's like too much of like a, too much of a done up look for me. And that's the thing about man makeup, like it's gonna always change, like on your mood and how much coverage you want or how much effort you wanna put into it, how much money you wanna spend. So this is just kind of my updated routine with no brows. Uh, I don't do a primer anymore because I feel like it was making me even oily, more oily to have so many layers on throughout the day. So I found that if I'm doing the skin tint, I don't do a primer. Uh, but if I'm not doing a skin tint, then I will do a primer because I do like that blurred look. Like the skin tint gives you kind of that blurred effect. So I do like that. So no brows, no primer. That's pretty much it. Like this is my whole routine. Um, as you can see, I like the way that it looks, the finish, like it's not too many steps and it makes me feel like, you know, everything's kind of covered a little bit. I look a little better, a little, look a little bit fresher with the concealer. Uh, I look a little bit more awake. Um, and the, this powder really is good. It will set for many, many hours and it will uh, keep you oil controlled for a while. So, and then it'll just touch up throughout the day. So. Anyway, yeah, that's it. You know what I might do is do, I might wipe off, use a makeup wipe to wipe off half my face to show you uh, basically a difference because I didn't, you can't really tell what the change is from start to finish. So I'll wipe off half my face and you can see the before and after. Okay, my skin is probably super red from like rubbing it, <laughs> but we'll let this dry for a second. So this is the undone side and then this is the done side. So as you can tell, it's like, it gave me just a little bit of a tan because it's a little bit darker. <laughs> it covered up like my concealer covered up my um, under eye circles, like my purpleness in here, purpleness, my purple color in here. Uh, it covered up my blemishes on this side. It just evens everything out. It makes me look a little bit glowy, even though we set it. And you can just tell that it just makes you look like your best version of yourself. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the before and after. So that is my updated routine for January of 2022. Thank you so much for joining me. Hit that subscribe button if you like this to check out my other videos. I don't think that I'm gonna be uploading like twice a week, but I'll try to get one video up a week. Don't know what day, 
but uh, I'm just gonna try to keep it more loose, but I do miss filming, and so I wanted to bring it back on just kind of a looser schedule. So anyway, hit that subscribe button to check out all the rest of my videos that are coming this year. It's very exciting stuff, and if you ever need real estate help in the Colorado area, I am your man. I'm a real estate agent full-time, and yeah, thank you so much for joining me, and I will check you on the next one.